Okay, it's time for us to get our 2,500 caps by looting this place. Uh, I also figure out a new way to mute the mic. Hopefully, this will be a much less disrupt. So, I hope that works. It should have worked. Uh, I, the problem is not muting the mic, the problem is that if I use the intended way to use my the, the goddamn mic, it creates all kinds of nasty effects with the sound and problems, so hopefully this wasn't just stop the volume pretty much in the middle of my speech and then reactivate it later. Might can test data. Astonishingly enough, the local night stalkers have developed a mutation not unlike the stealth field generated by the stealth boys. Even more importantly, the brains I've dissected have shown heightened levels in endorphins and other neurochemicals similar to what I've seen in nightkin brains. If this mutation is natural, perhaps a cure could be synthesized from the night stalkers. As far as I can tell, the night stalkers don't suffer from schizophrenia like the affected night king. Mark II prototype. The stealth boy Mark II prototype is functional, sort of. The enclave data wasn't complete, so I had to make a few guesses here and there. Unfortunately, the data also suggests that while the stealth field has a greater duration, the negative effects on the user are ex exponentially greater. I can use these to my advantage. The brainwave changes will be more pronounced, and it will be much easier to figure out what exactly is needed to cure the nightmare schizophrenia. Lily has graciously volunteered to be my test job subject, despite the risk. Ah, Lily is another potential companion. I, I, I totally forgot in her. Keen. Keen seems to have caught on about the Silk Boy Mark II prototype. I told him that it was in no way functional, but I'm not entirely sure he believed me. I'll have to keep an eye on him. Uh, if we want to get Lily, we do have to help these guys. Uh, but that's. Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. Yeah, it, it's truly amazing. Now, where's my loot? Where's my money? Ooh, snow globe. Oh, that's our money right there. But that's not enough, and that that's extra. Mm -hmm. Can't even steal from these. Well, stealing or not, as long as we get our money. Well, we are at talking about money. Uh, since I got my shovel, I haven't seen a single grave. Not a single one. Maybe we should backtrack just so we can get to grave rubbing. Uh, I probably just haven't been paying attention, that's the uh, life. So. And I don't want to carry around this ammunition. It weighs a ton and it's not all that valuable. But we need items, proper items of this crap. Hopefully, someone has water. Ah, this is exactly what we need spatula. Not exactly, but hopefully we can make use of this. Yeah, the offering is pretty weak here. A few extra steaks and whiskey. Well, am I supposed to 
squeeze a couple of thousand extra here. Well, the snow globe will cover most of that still. We'll have to take cigarettes. That will never cover it though. And him. Uh, it just isn't, doesn't feel the same if I'm, I'm not stealing it. Like, they sort of look greenish when you look, you look at them in a yellow light. Someone's watching. Don't look at me and feel it. Yeah, let's not, let's not poke at them uh, unless we want to fight them. They really aren't well. Well, it looks promising. Um, yeah, give me those karma losses. Laser pistol, 48 caps. Don't look at me. Might get a few hundred caps of extra equipment. But unless we get something really, really good, we'll never get it. I can always dump the ammunition on the dog, for example. Might, it's not like he's gonna use it for anything. Take the cigarettes. Again, we'll just dump them on someone else if we get full on carry weight. Are you so slow? Veronica, stay out. We are getting some drugs, but uh, we exhaust off. Hmm. At least we got rid of the hydration. Surgical tubing, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're empty syringes, not too interesting. Fixers, a lot of empty syringes. Uh, uh, I don't want to collect them. We have a ton of them and we don't have use for that either. Surgical tubing, Surgical tubing. Surgical tubing. Well, it's not, uh, not all that bad. It's not all that valuable, but it's not all that bad either. It's still worth hundreds and hundreds of caps. So I, I think we can get our money back. White star or something. Ah, 
<sighs> boxing times, yeah, we're gonna use the boxing times magazines. Hunger level has increased. I'll be And repair kits. Nails. Harmonica. Please don't bark. We're trying to be stealthy here. Ooh. Hard lock. Marcus is real. Well, he's the one that owes us, so it only makes sense to see if we can see from him. That's nothing. Well, I guess it's something like he comes here at night and you can kill him or something like that. For some reason. Yeah, we'll be breaking down most of these. That way they might be useful at some point. Six hundred six hundred and fifty ammunition for our forty five automatic. Surgical two. Well, I gain some surgical tubing. Yeah, I think this might be the last room. There were a few houses outside, so we'll go through those too. I'm not sure if we can find anything. The loot exactly isn't exactly inspiring here. <clears throat> can we repair this? Let's Yeah. We might as well try to. Jailhouse rocker too. No, it's not a pack and armor, and it looks exactly, exactly the same. Let's go. Yeah, those. Mm, some of them are clearly boarded, but there's a few open, so we should be able to enter them. Better watch out. Lily's been babbling about her grandkids again. Bungalow. No critters. Let's 
service rock. Uh, we could take the Abrax though. We need it for the nuclear grenades anyway. Something can. Ah, uh, not exactly great loot. Uh, you have to take what you can. Yeah. And this time it's nothing. Next. Star bubble cap. Yeah, whiskey is useful now too. You can make party time mint hats. Yes, you. Uh, at least the ammunition. Might as well dump the apparatus. So. And the cigarettes. Why not? Uh, is that it? Micro fusion cells. Scrap electronics, anything else, uh, surgical sweeping. We. sensor modules, do we have those? New. Okay, moving on. That's the last one. Again, no hostiles. Well, it's in a town full of uh, super mutants, so they probably killed everything. Everything here, if they ever was anything. More. Ooh, you could call a victory. I have no idea if that's... Ooh, that's a skill magazine. No, it's a... Not a skill book. Yeah. Nice, no, totally useful. Static. So... We can get the two and a half thousand back, but... It was thrown down the drain pretty much. Sure, I've just killed them and looted their bodies. Let the mutants deal with the problems. Never again. <sighs> yeah, I think we're going to. We're going to go companion hunting. Uh, there's Lily. Rose. 
Uh, Ganon, naturally, but what else? What else, what else, what else? I think there's a ghoul, one ghoul. Anything else? It's four. Four, at least, that we don't have at the moment. That's not. Gaining them won't be. won't be trivial. I think our best bet, at least as far as the ease of getting is concerned, it might be Rose, and then Ganon, and then the Ghoul, maybe, and then Lily. <sighs> we might as well start with Lily though. Got to start somewhere. Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. Super mutants have really no gender. They. All their gender differences as they start to mutate will basically disappear. So. All male and female supermutants look the same, and they are not really male and or female anymore. They're just supermutants. They they can't reproduce. Okay, who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy! Don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. Um, uh, I think you have me confused with someone else. I. Oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? What do you do in Jacob's son? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures. But sometimes they get ornery. Just like my grandkids. Uh, goodbye. Talk to you soon, dear. She's a nightkin, so it's hard at this point at least to say if she's suffering from a mental disorder or is she, is are those her actual memories surfacing. Again you interrupt me. Why? What are you working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Why is it riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. The stealth boy used hurt humans. It's possible. But I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Why are you helping them? Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Now I help. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one. And I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big horners to Night Stalker attacks, 
and would enjoy a little revenge. What makes you think that the night stalker mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a nightkin to one of the local night stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that night stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. If we must. Hmm. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, look for the source of the mu Night Stalker stealth mutation. And that is exactly what we need to do. Uh, I'm, uh, I can't have two, two companions like... Uh, uh, I guess humanoid companions. Is I can have the dog or the robot at the same time, so we need to get rid of her. Listen, I want to thank you for helping me out. I'm sorry that things didn't go like I'd hoped, but at least I got the chance to try. At least I know for sure that there was nothing I could do. Thank you for giving me that chance. It's time for us to part our ways. Uh, yeah. Why does everyone always say that? Um, I do. We'll meet up again at Lucky 38. Nice! Can I order room service? Yes, yes you can. And I still owe you that dress, don't I? Uh, I'll try to keep that promise. I will keep that promise. But that Lucky 38 is a large building. And so fancy. I'm looking into the Night Stalker mutation. Want to come along with me? Ooh, those Night Stalkers. Always carrying my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. Mm, stealth girl. Okay. She's at least temporary companion at this point. Stealth girl, what did we get? While Lily is a companion, the duration of stealth boys is increased by 200%, and all sneak attack critical hits do an additional 10%. Where do we need to go? Not too far. Charles Charleston Cave to the north. So somewhere up there. Let's go on an adventure. Please don't die on this adventure. <laughs> 